Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, we're out today, beautiful day. Um, taking my little dog out with the vets. She's had kennel cough over Christmas, some pancreatitis, and she now has mastitis. Well, I'm pretty sure it is anyway, but I'm no vet. Uh, yeah, for once I'm going to the vets and I'm not scared and anxious, because I know I've spoken time and time again about my anxiety and my depression. Um, one of my triggers is vets. Literally, I'm the most confident person on the trams, love my job, you know, we've, I've been through bits and bobs on there that, you know, totally confident, but get me in the vet's waiting room and I'm a gibbering wreck in the corner, go figure. Right, if you give me a sec, I just want to show you the main pup herself. Here we go, here's the main pup herself, I don't know if you can, yeah, there she is. Say hello, Chelly. Let's have a laugh. Andy. Chelly, look. <laughs> There's a snores. Hello, look. Hey, hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, doll. Chili. Chili. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> that's extreme close up. This little dog is my absolute world. She means absolutely everything to me. And when she's ill, I will do what I can to get her better. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to be vlogging the tram ride up there. I'm not obviously going to vlog in the vets because I don't think I'm allowed but I'll let you know what what the vet says I mean we're going for either uh, I know she's on her ladies either maybe phantom pregnancy or I, as I suspect possibly mastitis we'll see, see what the vet says but before we go any close any further have a look at how nice it is today see you can get beautiful days in Blackpool Love that view, and then Blackpool Tower. Oh, and before we go any further, hang on, long suffering daughter. And the reason why she's in that is because she has heart problems, she can't walk a great distance before she collapses. She has a spiritual tachycardia and a stage 3 flow murmur. Uh, not, sorry, not flow murmur, ordinary heart murmur. So that's the reason why she's in the buggy. And if you look, I don't know if you can see, she can lay down in this one. That's the reason why it's an upgrade, this one. We've walked up and found a random tram stop. Um, and one of them is going to be our transport very soon, hopefully. There you go. Here we go, we can see you clear now. Cholo dog! Cholo bog! Cholo! Hey, this, little, this little dog is my absolute world. Love it a bit. I actually didn't realise, sitting here at this tram stop, how beautiful the interior looks. Wow. So, I've been in there before. I compare a charity show for my friend for a charity called Sudep Action with Sudep Masad and Unexplained Death and Epilepsy. I don't know if you guys know but my daughter's epileptic and obviously Sudep is something that I'm worried about because my friend Joan Bent lost her daughter Emma to Sudep. But what a beautiful hotel. And a very haunted hotel apparently if you come on the ghost tour and listen to Stephen Mercer. You can tell some very um juicy ghost stories about that one. But here comes the tram. We'll see what's going on with her. Last time she was alright. The time before that she barked the head off, so she's chill at the moment, but <laughs> my little girl. She loves giving you close-ups of her snores. <laughs> you put your dog on the windshield. Oh. Right, on your bob. Try and get her in there if we can, yeah? That was us off the tram. After Cholo barking at one of my friends. Oh dear. I knew she would. I didn't think she could help herself. I knew she'd bark at one. <laughs> oh, what a cute! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> and then I'm like, "Oh, thought it was a baby." That was quite funny. 
Hey, as we might not cause some chaos on the tram, what can I say? <laughs> Gotta laugh. Trust me, I've done enough crying just lately. You need to laugh. Please. All right, she's chill at the moment. <laughs> I don't think she will, she realises where she's going or whatever she already knows, I don't know. We'll soon find out. I'm just walking up here a bit to show you where we are. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know if you can see, but that's the back of the Norbrick Castle Hotel. Or as the locals call it, HMP Norbrick. Doesn't help that it's been painted grey, it makes it look more like a prison. Sorry, but it does. So someone, someone's gone, oh, what paint have we got left? Oh, cool, that'll do. I'm here so much with my dog, I need to have control and share in the veterinary practice, you know. It's a nice place. I'm going to see Andrew himself, who's the head vet, in his lovely boat. I mean, it's expensive in here, but you pay for what you get. Alright, careful. I think my daughter needs L plates. <laughs> yeah, my daughter definitely does need L plates. There we go. Well, it seems this little doggo has got a certain pregnancy. Yeah. Putting at risk of high meat tree, but that's something we should deal with if she gets it. Fingers crossed she doesn't. No prayers up tonight for her, it'd be lovely. Because it'd be nice to go a month without having to go to the vet, if I'm honest. Alright. Long suffering daughter, she's put munchies. Yep. Oh, blimey, Kate. Hey, that's long suffering munchy daughter. Alright, hang on. Constant worry with dogs, isn't it? And animals and stuff. And then just like I would normally do, stay safe and have a good day. Goodbye. Bye.